It started as a typical night for me, scrolling through Reddit posts, looking for info on forgotten Minecraft servers that had slipped through the cracks of time. I've always been drawn to the idea of exploring the remnants of digital worlds. Those little pockets of nostalgia that echo with the creativity of players long gone. After a few hours, I stumbled upon a thread titled The Shattered Realm. Intrigued, I quickly got the server's IP address and booted up Minecraft. The screen flickered to life as I spawned into a desolate landscape. The Shattered Realm was unlike any server I had ever encountered. It was eerie and everything just felt off. The spawn point was a towering castle, but the walls were jagged and vines almost completely covered them. I wandered through the empty halls, each room filled with weirdly shaped furniture and the remnants of past player activity. Unfinished builds, scattered chests, and signs with faded messages. That was when I came across one that kind of shocked me a little. Help us, read the sign, scribbled hastily. The hairs on the back of my neck stood up when I read it. Chalking it up to online trolls just trying to get a rise out of people, I moved on. After all, it was just a game. What could really happen? I ventured outside where the landscape was a mix of twisted trees and fog. The sun hung low in the sky, casting an ominous orange glow. I decided to explore deeper, moving towards a forest that seemed to stretch infinitely. That's when I saw it. A figure, barely visible through the dense fog. It stood still, shrouded in shadow, my heart raced as I approached, feeling a magnetic pull toward the unknown. The figure seemed to be a player model, but it was different. Its skin was a patchwork of disjointed pixels, almost as if it was glitching in and out of existence. Help us, it whispered, the voice echoing unnaturally in the stillness. I froze. What were the odds someone else decided to join this dead server at the same time as I had? I tried to back away, but the ground beneath my player's feet was unstable, as if his reality was warping around him. The figure stepped closer, and I could make out its face, or rather, the lack of one. Where a face should be, there was only an extremely bright shining light. Suddenly the screen flickered and my character was thrown into a void. The server crashed and I was kicked back to the main menu. But then I noticed something strange. My player's skin had changed. He was now wearing the skin of the figure I had seen. I stared at the screen, heart pounding. I quickly tried to log back into the server, my fingers trembling as I entered the IP again. I was desperate to understand what had just happened. To my surprise, I connected seamlessly. I spawned back in the castle, but now the air was filled with a low, haunting hum. Fear surged through me, but I forced myself to move, determined to escape whatever nightmare I had stumbled into. As I stepped outside, the fog was even denser, obscuring my view. I remembered the figure's plea and felt an inexplicable urge to find it again. I wandered deeper into the forest, the trees looming overhead like sentinels. That's when I heard it. A chorus of voices, overlapping and frantic, calling out from the darkness. Help us! Help us! I stumbled toward the sound and the clearing ahead. I saw them, a group of player models, each distorted and glitching like the figure I had encountered before. They stood in a circle, their bodies flickering in and out of existence, faces absent but eyes wide with desperation. Against my better judgment, I stepped closer, drawn to a tree nearby for some odd reason. Suddenly a jolt of electricity surged through me. My screen flickered again, and I saw the faces of players past. Several strangers, their desperate expressions burned into my mind. Ah! Except these visions were not in the game. They were in my actual mind. I started to suspect that this server was somehow not just abandoned, 
but was actually cursed. The players who had once called this place home must be stuck in some endless loop, their spirits tethered to the world with no hope of escaping. In a moment of clarity, I reached out to the tree, touching its gnarled bark. A surge of energy flooded through me. Free us! They cried, and I felt a weight lifting as I focused all my willpower into the connection. The ground shook and the fog began to clear, and then the figure with the bright light for a face appeared in front of me. He started to dissolve, with tears of joy echoing from around us. Once he was gone, I suddenly found myself back at the main menu, the haunting hum replaced by the familiar sounds from Minecraft. I looked at my player's skin. It was back to normal. I thought the whole thing was over, but then a single message flickered on the screen. Now, you will never leave. Days passed, and the entire time I couldn't get my mind off the game and what had happened. Then one night as I lay in bed, the suppressive weight of despair pressed down on me. I was startled awake by a notification sound from my computer. Half asleep, I stumbled to my desk and saw a message on the screen. It's time. Suddenly, the shattered realm flickered back into existence. My heart began to race. Before I could do anything, the game suddenly loaded up, but not just on the screen. It was all around me. I was inside the game, inside that horrific cursed server. Looking down at my arms, I found that I was my character and had spawned once more in the castle. Only this time, it felt different. It was alive with this malevolent energy. And then I saw it, a dark shape at the end of the corridor, one of the figures I had seen when I entered the server before. And he was now beckoning me to follow. I hesitated but felt an overwhelming, mysterious pull forcing me to follow. As I approached, he revealed a strange vortex up ahead with a grotesque amalgamation of floating lost souls. It whispered, Where one has been freed, another must stay. In that moment, I finally understood the trade I had made, and that I would probably never again escape from the shattered realm.